Hello children. Today we begin with the topic congruence of triangles. Before we begin with this topic, let me tell you few things. First, uh, there there are few topics which we have done in chapters one and two, and because of this reduction in syllabus, there are few topics which may not be there, or there are uh, few sums which are not there for you, uh, for your exam. Now regarding this reduced syllabus, we'll be putting up a video in the WhatsApp group. You will have to go through it and find out which are the questions which may not be there or if at all any topic which is not there from the chapters that we have finished. That is one and two and up to the portion that we have done now. Now from here onwards, whatever portion is not there for you, or the sums which are not there for you will be told to you by me personally as I continue with the portion. All right. That's the first thing to be told. Second, you'll be having a unit test in a few days time. Maybe from the 17th onwards. Okay. So for geometry, your portion will be lessons one and two. So start preparing for it well. Okay. So whatever I have told you to study the theorems, the exercises, I hope all of you have completed it in your classwork. Start practicing for your unit test. Okay. Now we begin with the topic congruence of triangles. First thing, what do you understand by two triangles being congruent? Now, if you say that two triangles are congruent, what it means is you have the respective sides which are exactly equal to each other, number one. And second, the corresponding angles being congruent. Now, for example, let's consider the triangle A1, B1, C1 and A2, B2, C2 as shown in figure 3.14. Now, if I call these two triangles to be congruent, what it means is A1, B1 is equal to A2, B2, B1, C1 equal to B2, C2 and A1, C1 equal to A2, C2. That means the three sides exactly coincide with each other. Another condition, angle A1 will be equal to angle A2, angle B1 equal to angle B2 and angle C1 equal to angle C2. So if I were to place one triangle on top of the other, they would fit exactly one on the other. So the two conditions for congruence are the sides are exactly equal and second, the corresponding angles are exactly congruent. Okay, so the corresponding sides are congruent and the corresponding angles are also congruent. Now there are certain tests for congruence of triangles. We are going to learn what they are. The first one, figure 3.15. In a correspondence, if two angles of triangle ABC are equal to two angles of triangle PQR and the sides included by the respective pairs of angles are also equal, then the two triangles are congruent. What it means is, you have triangle ABC and triangle PQR. Angle B congruent to angle Q. Side BC congruent to side QR. Angle C congruent to angle R. Then you call these two triangles congruent by the ASA test. So these congruent angles have been marked similarly and the sides also have been marked similar in both the triangles. So this tells you that the two triangles are congruent by ASA test. If you observe, the side is included between the two congruent angles for both the triangles. Okay. So the first test that we learn is ASA test. Second, in a correspondence, if two sides of triangle ABC are equal to two sides of triangle PQR, and the angles included by the respective pairs of sides are also equal, then the two triangles are congruent. Now, you have triangle ABC and triangle PQR. Look at the sides which are marked AB congruent to PQ. 
angle B congruent to angle Q, BC congruent to QR. Therefore, the two triangles are congruent by SAS test. The angle is included between the two uh, congruent sides. Okay. Now, this is SAS test. The third one in a correspondence, if three sides of triangle ABC are equal to three sides of triangle PQR, then the two triangles are congruent by the SSS test. Now, in this case, side AB is congruent to side QP, side BC congruent to side QR, side AC congruent to side PR. In such a case, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PQR by SSS test. Okay, that is side, side, side test. The fourth one, in triangle ABC and triangle PQR, angle B and angle Q are right angles. Hypotenuses are equal and AB is equal to PQ. Then the two triangles are congruent by the hypotenuse side test. So you have triangle ABC and triangle PQR which are right angled at B and Q respectively. You have the hypotenuse AC congruent to hypotenuse PR. You have side AB congruent to side PQ. In such a case, the two triangles are congruent by hypotenuse side test. So these are the four tests which we learn for congruence. ASA, SAS, SSS and RHS or hypotenuse side test. Okay. We start with exercise 3.2. Now, when you write in your classwork, you will write the topic congruence of triangles. Okay. And start conditions for congruence of triangles. Number one, you're going to write this statement in a correspondence. If two angles of triangle ABC equal to two angles of triangle PQR and so on till ASA test and draw figure 3.15. Similarly, second uh, test starting from inner correspondence up to SAS test and you will draw figure 3.16. Similarly, the third as well as the fourth. So you need to write the test, the statement as well as the figures. So this is what you need to write in your classwork con under the heading congruence of triangles. After you finish that, you will start with exercise 3.2. Question number one. In each of the examples given below, a pair of triangles is given, is shown. Equal parts of triangles in each pair are marked with the same signs. Observe the figures and state the test by which the triangles in each pair are congruent. So you're going to draw the figure and write they are congruent by which test. Now this particular question I will only be discussing. You can note it down with a pencil in your textbook children. And after we finish with the exercise, you will be writing it in your classwork. So first question, ABC, triangle ABC congruent to triangle PQR by dash test. Now if you look at the figure, side AB congruent to side PQ, side BC congruent to side QR, and side AC congruent to side PR. Therefore, Triangle ABC congruent to triangle PQR by SSS test. Okay, so in that dash, you are going to write SSS test. Second question. Triangle XYZ congruent to triangle LMN by what test? Now you have side XY congruent to side LM, angle Y congruent to angle M, side YZ congruent to side MN. So the triangles are congruent by SAS test because the angle is included in between the two congruent sides. So it is SAS test. Question number three. You have angle P congruent to angle S. You have side PR congruent to side ST. You have angle R congruent to angle T. Therefore, the two triangles are congruent by ASA test. So the sides, side is included between the two congruent angles. So it is ASA test. Question number four. Triangle LMN and triangle PTR. You have side LM congruent to side TP. You have angle M congruent to angle T. 
and you have the hypotenuse ln congruent to pr therefore the triangles are congruent by hypotenuse side test okay so that's the first question question number 2 observe the information shown in pairs of triangles given below state the test by which the two triangles are congruent write the remaining congruent parts of the triangles first one figure 3.20 now it's an activity based question you can write it with pencil in the boxes given here as i tell you and later when you write it in your class work you're going to write this complete same first question and the second okay now from the information shown in the figure in triangle abc and triangle pqr angle abc congruent to angle pqr look at the figures they are marked similar segment bc congruent to segment qr angle acb congruent to angle prq therefore triangle abc congruent to triangle pqr by dash test what must you write in the box asa test okay so you will write asa angle bac congruent to angle qpr corresponding angles of congruent triangles now children Where, uh, for proving two triangles congruent you need only three conditions so that is done you know the test by which it is congruent now the remaining three factors now let's say you have three sides and three angles out of these six factors you need three to prove them congruent you still are left with three factors that you need to write now for example in this case angle bac congruent to angle qpr that is a remaining angle which is left and what must you write they are corresponding angles of congruent triangles this is written in short as cact okay now you have been given one side congruent to the other we are left with two more sides which are the ones segment ab congruent to segment pq similarly the other side segment ac congruent to segment pr and these are corresponding sides of congruent triangles and written in short as cscp okay children i hope it is clear we go to the second question figure 3.21 from the information shown in the figure in triangle ptq and triangle str segment pt congruent to segment st angle ptq congruent to angle str they are vertically opposite angles segment tq congruent to segment tr now triangle ptq is congruent to triangle str by which test by sas test the angle r is the vertically opposite angle which is congruent therefore sas test now angle tpq is congruent to angle t s r okay t s r why reason corresponding angles of congruent triangles similarly which is the other angle congruent angle t p q is congruent to uh yeah that is over angle t p q congruent to angle uh, t s r is the first one and the second angle pqt is congruent to angle trs and both these are corresponding angles of congruent triangles so these were the two angles left apart from the angle that was already told now apart from the two sides given congruent which is the side left out now segment pq congruent to segment rs okay corresponding sides of congruent triangles children i hope you are able to understand whenever you prove two triangles congruent you need only three factors out of three sides and three angles only three are required to prove them congruent the remaining three factors which are left if they are angles they are congruent because of cact corresponding angles of congruent triangles and the sides are congruent because cascd corresponding sides of congruent triangles okay So with that we finish question number two. We go to question number three. From the information shown in the figure, 
state the test assuring the congruence of triangle abc and triangle pqr write the remaining congruent parts of the triangles so let's see how to do this now this is the figure in triangle abc and triangle qpr side ab congruent to side qp that's given angle a congruent to angle q side bc congruent to side pr all these three conditions are given to you therefore triangle abc is congruent to triangle qpr by which test hypotenuse side test now which are the remaining congruent parts two sides are already given congruent corresponding sides are congruent which is a side left side ac congruent to side qr reason corresponding sides of congruent triangle cact one angle is given to you in the question which are the angles remaining angle b congruent to angle p and angle c congruent to angle r cact corresponding angles of congruent triangles now question number 4 the figure is given to you like this you are given that in triangle lmn and triangle pmn lm is equal to pn ln equal to pm they are given by congruent marks you can see they are given by similar marks in both the triangles what must you prove you have to prove triangle lmn congruent to triangle pmn how will you prove it proof in triangle lmn and triangle pmn segment lm congruent to segment pn that's given segment ln congruent to segment pm given segment mn congruent to segment mn it's a common side for both the triangles therefore triangle lmn congruent to triangle pmn by sss test okay they have asked you to prove uh, the two triangles congruent now after proving them congruent they have also asked you to write the remaining congruent parts now all the three sides we have proved what are the three remaining parts left all the three angles so let's write all the three angles angle l congruent to angle p angle lmn congruent to angle pnm angle lnm congruent to angle pmn by cact that's corresponding angles of congruent triangles okay so these are the three parts which are remaining next we go to question number 5 question number 5 now i'm going to explain to you how to do it you will be writing it yourself in figure 3.24 segment ab congruent to segment cb see they have been given by uh, similar marks segment ad congruent to segment cd prove that triangle abd congruent to triangle cbd so in the in these two triangles so you will write in triangle abd and triangle cbd side ab congruent to side cd given side ad congruent to side cd given side bd congruent to side bd common side therefore triangle abd congruent to triangle cbd by sss test that's all that's all needs to be written children so that's the reason it's a very simple sum you will write side ab congruent to side bc given side ad congruent to side cd given segment bd congruent to segment bd or side bd congruent to side bd therefore triangle abd congruent to triangle cbd by sss test okay we go to question number 6 in figure 3.25 angle b angle p congruent to angle r segment pq congruent to segment rq prove that triangle pqt congruent to triangle rqs okay now angle p is given congruent to angle r segment pq is given congruent to segment rq so prove take triangle pqt and triangle rqs in these two triangles you are given angle p congruent to angle r segment pq congruent to segment rq 
angle q congruent to angle q it's a common angle for both the triangles and therefore the triangles are congruent by asa test so children whenever you have questions like these you will write as i wrote this particular question this is the format in which you have to write first you will write given that is whatever is there in the question whatever is given to you in the question is written as given what is tpt to prove that what have you been asked to prove that will come here next will be the proof how are you going to prove it so this is a pattern in which you need to write okay so with this we finish with the exercise what you need to do in your exercise as i told you congruence of triangles all those four points all the four rules after that exercise 3.2 first question draw the figure write the test second also activity based i have told you how to do it third fourth fifth and sixth with this we finish with the exercise children as i told you prepare for your unit test start revising lesson number 1 and 2 thoroughly well and write down all these questions in your class work okay so that's it children thank you